good. I can. Okay. Hi, friends. Uh, we're just getting ourselves finalizing the uh, tech here. So um, welcome to another week of Raja Yoga. It's so good to be with you. I'm going to take another sip of my water and we'll get started. Okay, so this week's theme is life as a battlefield, and that's what Sai Ganesh is going to talk to us about tonight. And I would say that the key principles I'd like us to focus on in our yoga practice is the idea that um, Swamiji guides us to understand in the chapter that the search for peace is inherent in us, and it's a natural desire. What we look at with the yoga practice is how do you get there? Right? What's, what's the pathway to peace? And what can be unusual about yoga practice from maybe mainstream consciousness is that we view peace as something that's inherent in our own nature, so it's always there already. And the yoga practices help give us access to that peace and live with that peace. And the journey of yoga is dynamic. So it's not a passive journey. And this is where in our world, there's this kind of, I, I, we wanna resist difficulty and kind of collapse. So in our yoga practice tonight in the asanas, what I invite you to explore is what it's like to be dynamically engaged in the practice, maybe challenge yourself a bit without hurting yourself, without going too far. And so this requires really discernment and listening. And to be really present and how the practice itself helps to release and free you from excess tension and give you access to this inner peace. Yoga and Hatha Yoga, Hatha means sun and moon. It's the balancing of duality. So when we are practicing, everything that we're doing is balancing the um, opposites to bring us to a point of stillness and inner awareness, which each week we talk about. And then from that inner awareness, we lift here. So um, let's bring an attitude of peace to our practice tonight and dynamic, wakeful, energized peace. Okay, so beginning in Tadasana, mountain pose, standing mountain, relax your shoulders down from the ears. Begin to take some deep, full belly breath, so just full body breathing. As full and expansive as you can. And then as you exhale, exhale out through the nose, inhale. See if you can sense the lungs fully expanding and exhale. One more time, let's inhale. Retain the breath for just a few moments and exhale. Very nice, now we'll move with the breath into full yogic breath flow. So we inhale up. Expand the arms wide, really stretch and feel yourself expanding and opening, and then guiding energy down through the body as you come forward. You can use the chair to support you. The hands can be on the seat or the back of the chair, or you can come all the way down and release the head and neck. To come up, bend the knees slightly, tuck chin to chest, and inhale up. Visualize yourself truly guiding energy, prana, and life force through the body. Exhale, surrender, release. Inhale, draw energy up through the body and offer back to the sky. It also can be a practice of balancing the elements of earth and sky. So earth, stable, grounded, firm. Rising to meet the sky, expansive, vast, open, unlimited possibility. Inhale, exhale down, surrender, release, and bend the knees and inhale up, stretch, and exhale down. Very nice, okay. 
So let's come into tree pose, trikonasana or um, vrikasana. What we'll want to do is stand on our left leg and bring the right foot to the side. And that foot can be on the floor. You could have your knee resting on the seat of the chair. You could lift the leg up to the calf or the thigh, hands to the heart, or bring them up above you, lifting the gaze of the eyes. Keep the breath relaxed, mentally affirming, I am calm, I am poised, I am calm, I am poised. See if you can tune into the quality of calmness and poise. We'll inhale up and exhale, arms down. And pause for a moment. Even a short pause just helps you stay really present to your body and your breath. And then we'll go to the other side. So standing on the right leg now and the left foot comes to the side on the floor or you can lift. Hands can be at the heart or up above you. And for me, every day is different. So sometimes the foot is lifted. Sometimes I start that way and then bring the foot down. The idea is you want to challenge yourself. And in that challenge, find relaxation. So be balancing to the point that it requires concentration and a sense of effort with ease. I am calm. I am poised. Inhale up. And exhale, arms down. Very good. So here we'll come into triangle pose. And I'm going to turn my chair to the side and say that you can use the seat of the chair to be the, um, for support for yourself. Um, or you don't need to use it, so you decide. And what I mean by that, if I'm using the chair rather than have my hand on my leg, I would be a little closer. I would place my hand on the, on the chair. So we come into a wide stance and we turn the left foot out and we line it up with the instep of the right and we bring the torso back to the front and inhale arms up palms together then turn the hands towards the front and exhale down to shoulder height and then tilt with your hip as you reach with your left arm and you keep going until the body just feels like it's gone as far as it's comfortable bring that arm down and the other arm up so again, this hand could be on the chair if that's helpful. And if you like, you can rotate your head to look up to the sky. Swami Kriyananda said, this asana floods the body with energy and joy. Every cell of the body is flooded with prana in this pose. So the affirmation is energy and joy floods my body cells. Joy descends to me. Energy and joy flood my body cells. Joy descends to me. Visualizing yourself flooded with divine energy. We need this energy for peace. To move through life as a spiritual warrior, we need a lot of divine energy flowing to us and through us. And then we'll inhale up. Arms back to shoulder height, exhale down. And pause for a moment and we'll pause in a wide stance. Each time you pause, just consciously relax the shoulders down from the ears. Sometimes we have a habit of lifting them, being tense in the upper body and not realizing it. And we'll go to the other side. So now we'll turn right foot out. Sometimes I walk it away a bit. Line it up with the instep of the left. You can bend the knee a little if you like, just to help align the body, bring the torso back to the front, palms together. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Hands towards the front, exhale down to shoulder height. Tilt the hip as you reach. And here I take my time. I just keep slowly reaching until I feel like, yeah, that feels like a good spot for my body. I bring that hand down 
And once I feel stable, slowly rotate the head to look up to the sky. And then begin to breathe deeply as you visualize prana and life force flooding your body, renewing every cell with new, fresh energy. Energy and joy flood my body cells. Joy descends to me. Energy and joy flood my body cells. Joy descends to me. Deep, full breaths in and out. Nice, we'll inhale up, arms to shoulder height, and exhale down, and pause here for a moment, relax the whole body. After an active pose like Trikonasana, when we move into relaxation, we can often feel a tingling of energy. And as you breathe deeply, take some deep full breaths in and out, you might sense a little more freedom in the body to breathe. Mentally repeating, energy and joy flood my body cells. Joy descends to me. Trikonasana, the triangle pose, great. So let's come into a forward bend. It's nice to stretch out the back um, after that. Again, you can use the seat of your chair to support you, or your hands can come down towards the floor, or they could stay on the legs. So we're going to hinge at the hips, lift and lengthen through the crown of the head. Inhale. As you exhale forward, come down as far as is comfortable for you. And it might take you a full, um, and I'm not rounding the spine yet, just to say. So there's an opportunity for that in a moment. But first, we practice having a lengthened spine allowing the energy to move through the back as you stretch reaching through the crown of the head and the tailbone at the same time. See if you can sense a lengthening in the back and the body. Deep full breaths in and out, a nice stretch for the back of the legs. And when you feel ready to move into relaxation, you can bring your hands to the chair or bring them down towards the floor. And if it's comfortable and safe for your body, you can round the spine and release the head and neck. You could hold the upper arms, the hands holding and resting. And then the weight of your torso helps to stretch out the spine a bit more. And it continues to stretch the back of the legs. So just make sure that's not too much for you. Affirmation for this pose is I relax and cast aside all mental burdens. I relax and cast aside all mental burdens. Just feel yourself able to do this, to choose what to entertain in your mind and what not to, releasing all the burdens, just tossing them onto a fire of purification or moving them to the side for another time. I relax and cast aside all mental burdens. To come out of the pose, you could have your hands on the floor, bend the knees, tuck chin to chest. Inhale, roll yourself up, reach tall, lengthen. Exhale down, walk the feet towards each other. Come back to Tadasana and stand here for a moment. Relax the belly as you breathe. And just notice how the body feels. Can you sense a difference in your body already? I relax and cast aside all mental burdens. Prasarita Parotonasana, the wide stands forward bend. Very nice. So I'm going to show you a pose using the chair that um, Swamiji shows in the um, chapter called Pavana Muktasana. This is the wind freeing pose. And so <clears throat> there's a couple of uh, modifications to help with the pose. It is, um, so I have a blanket here 
on my heels. And what that does, you'll see as I come into the pose, I'm gonna demo it first. And the chair here offers some support. So it's basically a deep squat. And it massages the internal organs, and it actually pushes excess gas and air out. It's called the wind freeing pose. And it removes tension there. So um, I'll, let me show you first. Inhale, exhale, I come down. And I can use the chair to support me. Now, if you're comfortable, you can hold the knees. If you don't need a chair and you don't need the mat, you can hold the um, knees. I like to kind of use a chair. So um, if you haven't, I'm not expecting you to be there yet, but you might already. But let me guide you if you're not. Inhale and exhale. If you're using the chair, take your time because you know the chair is just a little bit of support. It can slide, so you want to make sure it's not sliding. The affirmation, <clears throat> I release my spinal energies to rise in light. I release my spinal energies to rise in light. Take a few more deep, full breaths in and out. I release my spinal energies to rise in light. When you feel ready to come up, you can rock forward a bit. Again, use the chair for support, and then stand in Tadasana for a moment. And notice how that feels. See if you can feel the energy rising through the back and through the body. I release my spinal energies to rise in light. Pavana Muktasana. We'll practice one more standing pose and then a few seated asanas. So this is, um, let me move this. This is Virabhadrasana, warrior one. Seemed very fitting for life as a battlefield. And you can use the chair to support you. So you don't need to, it's fine if you don't. <clears throat> So if you're, we're, we stand in Tadasana and we step the left leg. Let me just pull this a little bit. We step the um, left leg back, right leg forward. So without the chair, we bring the hands up and it's a high lunge. Your hands can also be at your hips and they could also be resting on the chair. I would need to be closer if I'm using the chair. So if you can't reach it and you want to use it, bring yourself closer. Hands on the hips is more relaxing for the shoulders. And you can play with it a little to see what works for you. Fingertips are pointed upward. The legs are fully engaged. The affirmation is, I attune my will to the source of all power. I attune my will to the source of all power. Feel yourself aligning your energy, your consciousness with the divine. Being a spiritual warrior, we receive the divine light. We awaken it within us. We understand that as we move through the world, we do not move through this life alone. I attune my will my life, my consciousness, to the source of all. Very nice to come out of the pose. We'll exhale arms down if you have them up. Step toward the chair and pause for a moment. With the pause again, notice how the body feels. See if you can come into a fuller state of relaxation And we'll go to the other side. So now it's going to be that the left leg is forward and the right leg comes back. And you might, might take you a moment to kind of feel like you're stable. When you bend that left knee, make sure it's going in the direction of your toes. And then inhale, arms up or into whatever position works best for your body. Hands could be together at the heart as well in prayer position. Keep the breath flowing fully and deeply. The gaze of the eyes is lifted. The eyes themselves are relaxed. We consciously relax all the muscles that we don't need to have tense, engaging the muscles we need for the pose. 
and only those. In this pose, quite a few muscles are engaged. The arms are working if they're above you. The legs are working. Hopefully, the abdominal area feels spacious so you can breathe freely. Mentally affirming, I attune my will to the source of all power. to the path of yoga, to the teachings of yama and niyama, to my highest self. Very nice to come out. We exhale down, step forward, and come back to Tadasana. Relax the body, see if you can feel a greater sense each time of relaxation. More space within you for awakened energy to flow. And in that flow of energy, a quality of peace, of calmness and joy. I attune my will, my life and energy to the source of all. Very nice. So we'll come here into um, a seated pose, and I think I'll face you for this. So this is a spinal twist, and it's nice to do, um, in the chair is just nice, but if you know how to practice it on the floor, you're welcome to do that. What we'll do, we wanna have the spine lengthened and lifted, the shoulders relaxed. So we're always um, bringing the spine into proper alignment with our poses, and in the twist in particular, it's important. So once you feel stable, what you'll do is take your left leg and cross it over the right. And I'm seated about this far away from the back of the chair. Right? So you wanna make sure you won't fall off, but you're not right up against it because then there's no room for the twist. So lift and lengthen on the inhale. And then as you exhale, just very slowly begin to twist towards the left. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, twist. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, twist. And you'll get to a point where the spine has gone as far as it can go comfortably and safely. And then you're looking back in the direction towards the left shoulder with each breath lengthening the spine so you're practicing keeping that spine lengthened and also relaxed. So finding a position that allows the shoulders to stay relaxed down from the ears. Beautiful affirmation Swamiji wrote for this pose. I radiate love and goodwill to soul friends everywhere. That takes a lot of strength to radiate love and goodwill to all. It's very appropriate as a spiritual warrior to have that capacity to direct the flow of energy into the heart center, lift it to the spiritual eye, and send out a blessing to everyone. Feel that capacity within yourself. I radiate love and goodwill to soul friends everywhere. We'll inhale, lift and lengthen, and exhale, unwind. And cross the legs, sit for just a moment. And then we'll go to the other side. So now right leg crosses over, lift and lengthen. Nice inhale and just take your time. Exhale, begin the twist. Basically from the base of the spine, working your way up. Inhale, exhale in a relaxed way. And again, you'll get to the point where you feel like, yeah, that's the right stretch for my body. See if you can visualize energy rising from the base of the spine, flooding into the heart center. Swamiji said that is really a big, a large part of what's happening in this pose. It does awaken the kundalini energy to rise into the heart center, and then we lift it. The pose itself lifts it, but we help it by guiding it consciously to the spiritual eye and sending out the super conscious affirmation. I radiate love and goodwill 
to soul friends everywhere. A statement of our highest truth. With each inhalation, you're lifting and lengthening the spine. Each exhalation, a sense of deeper relaxation. Consciously sending blessings and light to all. Very nice. We'll inhale, exhale, unwind and uncross. Pause for a moment and notice how the body feels. See if you can sense the awakening and the release of all that might have been blocking a sense of peace and easefulness within your body, within your breath. And let's practice a pose that cultivates peace, balasana, the child's pose. So balasana, I'll turn to the side here just to show you. Um, if you have a chair in front of you, you can use that. Actually, I think my body, it's better if I turn it, so I'll turn it. So lift through here, lengthen and exhale forward. And you take your time lengthening the spine, bring the arms down. It can be out in front or behind you and then release the head and neck. With each breath, feel yourself surrendering, releasing and letting go. I relax from outer involvement into my inner haven of peace. I relax from outer involvement into my inner haven of peace. Inhale, bring yourself up. We'll pause for a moment. One last um, asana before moving into meditation. Thought it might be nice to end with uh, energizing backward bend. So I just want to show you if you're in the chair, hands can be here or here and lift through the heart. This is Ustrasana. Or you can come down to the floor and use the, you can also use the chair or you can practice without the chair. So I'll show you with the chair. So I walk my knees away from the seat until I get a nice arch in my spine. And then I begin to offer my heart to the sky. And you can bring your hands down towards the floor a bit. So you can go fairly deeply in the pose using the chair. Visualize yourself opening to this divine healing energy of light. With calm faith, I open to thy light. Breathing deeply, welcoming a flood of healing light. A blessing of divine energy offering you all that you need. With calm faith, I open to thy light. To come out of the pose, bring yourself back to neutral. If you're in the chair, you can sit in the chair, feet on the floor, hands resting on the top of the thighs. We have a couple minutes now before our practice ends. Let's just take that time to center ourselves, to take some deep, full breaths in and out. With each breath, a deepening of relaxation, a sense of opening in the body.
quality of calmness and peace in the heart. Clarity and space in the mind. 